I checked out a new slope soaring spot today and I had a hawk attack my plane mm -hmm. multiple times. I don't think it ever actually hit it, but it sure came close. At one point, the hawk even came down and looked like it was going to attack it on the ground. I tried to zoom in on this with the video editing software, so if it seems a little bit blurry, that's probably why. But it was really cool to see. I often slope soar or thermal soar with turkey vultures, and they are interested, but they they never uh, hey, attack the planes. But uh, hawks are different. So this slope soaring site is like 20 miles from where I live. Here's the view from the front. Now there's two different places where there's an outlook you can fly from. Here's the second one, and that's where I flew most of the time because it was more favorable to the wind. Here's a view from the top. Here you see me flying from the first spot, and you'll notice how I'm going off to the right of the slope. The, the wind was kind of coming parallel, and this just wasn't working too good. So I didn't fly very long, and I landed and moved over to the other spot. The, these two outlooks are kind of like on the the edge of a slope where you could almost fly two different directions so that's a good thing but I made a nice landing here and moved over to the second spot which was really favorable to the wind although there was a couple of times where there was a lull and I was really struggling to stay up and had to give it a little bit of power but most of the time it was pretty strong and other times it was like really strong for these small airplanes but uh, I did just fine well I did fine until I came to uh, land the V-tail and I kinda messed that up and turned too sharp and uh, hit the ground the ground is so dry now at least there was a couple of people that were interested in my flying and came by and asked questions. Doesn't take too much if you don't have to run. I brought another glider along too, my U glider, but I didn't fly that after I I don't know cracked up the uh, V tail. I didn't want to have to fix two gliders when I got home. <laughs> Here you can see the damage. It just took five minutes to fix with some epoxy. This guy had flown RC gliders before and ha did some hang gliding so he was really interested to see this and he was really amazed how this little UMX Radian did in this much wind. When I'm landing where there's a tiny landing spot I try to make a plan of just how I'm gonna come in and this is a new spot so it took me a little while to figure that out. 